Yolanda Baker is the disco ball maker. She's the master of the iconic mirror ball. The last of the disco queens. I don't think about it. I just do it. <laughs> For nearly 50 years, Yo-Yo, as she's known to co-workers at Louisville's Omega National Products, has perfected the meticulous handcrafted art of aligning small squares of mirror on a round ball. It, it doesn't seem like 50 years. It just comes easy after all these years. She starts with an aluminum shell, some of which are as big as 10 feet in diameter, and covers them with glass mirrors. So smooth, you know, just like I belong here. Some are glued to cloth and stretched around the ball's belly. Others are hand placed. Well, I got one here and I got one here. <laughs> it can be some bloody work. I need a transfusion. <laughs> and in 2016, disco ball manufacturing can also be lonely work. Baker started at Omega in its wood division, but was promoted to mirrors in 1970 as disco balls grew more popular. When Saturday Night Fever took the disco craze mainstream, Yo-Yo and a team of 25 workers each knocked out 25 balls daily as the Bee Gees blared on a boombox. But I, you know, I, I think about, think back with all those girls over there, 20, 25 of them, something like that, and how much fun I had. But disco died, and the need for handmade disco balls also faded. Today, the mirror ball division is empty except for Yo-Yo, who fills about a half dozen perfect orders each week. It's not going out if it's not good. Omega National Products is the last American manufacturer of mirror balls. China has flooded the market with cheap, poorly made versions that lack Baker's attention to detail and studied expertise. I don't know why anybody would buy one of those, I really don't. At 70 years old, she's the lone disco ball maker in America, having added the glitter and glitz for decades to places such as Studio 54, the sets of Soul Train and Saturday Night Fever, and concerts for Madonna, Beyonce, Kid Rock, and many others. And despite news to the contrary, Yolanda is not retiring anytime soon. I take a lot of pride in what I do. Yolanda Baker has earned the title of the last of the disco queens. I mean, you, people say, well, it's just a mirror ball. Well, it is my job. You know, that's what I do for a living, and I'm going to do it right. Period. <laughs>